G'day guys, it's Greg's Kitchen Time once again and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chicken cordon bleu. Now, it probably sounds a little difficult and oh, you're probably thinking, oh man, that sounds hard, man. How am I going to make it? Well, i got to tell you, they are super easy to make and they taste fantastic. Ham, cheese and chicken, how can you go wrong with that combination? Anyway guys, let's go inside to the kitchen and let's get started on making a chicken cordon bleu. Oh, let's go! This is Greg's Kitchen. Okay, so for this recipe all you're going to need is some chicken. Chicken breasts are best, but I bought some chicken thighs just for something different. You're also going to need some ham. I just bought some shaved ham because I love this stuff. Some cheese. I think this is Jarlsberg or something funny like that, but Swiss cheese is probably good, but they didn't have any, so I thought I'd just use this one. Some breadcrumbs. Yummo. And an egg, which I'm just going to crack, and then we're just going to mix it up. You can use a fork if you like. <laughs> Now chicken cordon bleus are really easy to prepare. They hardly take any time at all. So what I'm going to first do is turn on the oven because I need that warmed up. Set the heat for 180 degrees Celsius. Now I'm just going to put some plastic down on the bench here just to make it easier so things don't stick too much. Now I'm just going to get the chicken and well I should probably fold this over like that and just start pounding it like that. That's what I like to do. Just pound it. Pretend it's oh, either your girlfriend or someone you hate. So now that I've given it a good hard pounding, just until it's fairly thin, that's only about ooh, half a centimetre thick right now there. All I'm going to do now is put the cheese on top like that. Then I'm just going to put some ham on top and now all we need to do is just roll this up. So try and roll it as tightly as you can and we'll get that looking <laughs> like that and now I've got these skewers some toothpicks would have been better but we don't have any here so I'm just going to stick the skewer through like that and sort of try and bend that around and feed it through the other side without stabbing myself and what I'm going to do is just coat this in the egg now I'll get my breadcrumbs and what we need to do is just put the breadcrumbs all over this chicken okay so I've just got a baking tray here which I'm just gonna put some baking paper on and I'm just going to transfer these onto this tray and now all I have to do is place these into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm going 35 minutes because I like my chicken cooked properly. Hey, good luck. Oh, have a look at this. It's a cockatoo. Now I know it's not the first time a lot of you have seen a cockatoo. <laughs> okay, well, that's the timer gone. And here they are. So now all you have to do is take out the skewers. Oh boy! That is still really hot. So be very careful. Okay, well how about we just cut one open just to see how it looks inside. We'll just take a look at that. The chicken is cooked perfectly. It's juicy inside, the cheese is melted, oh boy, what more could you want? Oh, <laughs> yum Oh, Well, I'm really looking forward to trying the chicken cordon bleu. Let's give this a crack. Mm. Just sensational. Well guys, I really do hope you enjoy that chicken cordon bleu. It really is that easy to make and it really does taste fantastic. It's just a beautiful, simple, easy dish to make. You'll impress everyone with it. It's better than buying it from the shops by far. And what else? It's just a great, simple, easy recipe. I know you guys are going to love it. Anyway guys, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Remember to thumb this video up for me and leave a comment because I love reading them. And I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Mm -hmm.